This one down the left side, cutting back. Another beauty. Hardest fairway on the course to hit. They both just pipe it right down in there. Beautiful. Yep, they're going to see some long hits from those two. Get a little buttery cut. Very high, cutting right back at the flag if it's the right number. Is that any good? That's the second shot we've seen right at the flag in the last hour, but that one is in perfect shape. Bomb for the birdie. Squeezed it right in there between the flag stick and the cover, and Rom is off to a birdie start. I think he might be the fan favorite here today. Rom going the aggressive route with driver. And this is a beauty, Gary, right up the center. Small cut should take that hill and dive down to the right. That is a knuckle seed right there. No spin on that whatsoever. Look at it go. Yeah, hopefully it gets down there far enough, Paul, that it's down to the flat. Yep. I'll try to hit this 50 in the air. Right there. Needs to spin. He did it. Does. What a start for John Rahm. No player this third, or first, excuse me, final round has started birdie birdie. Yeah, mere formality, you would think, for John Rahm to start birdie birdie, get to four under. Nicely done. And remember, guys, when Rahm won here, his first event on the PGA Tour, the 2017 Farmers, he shot 65 in the final round. John Rahm with a six iron. Now, that's plenty of club for the big fella. Can take a little off these shots. We've seen seven irons here this morning. Oh, that is long and left, and that could be. I saw Adam Hayes point to an area about 15 feet left of the hole. This is unreal. That was an amazing shot. He didn't make it to the penalty area, stayed out of it. And a par. There it is. Wow. Not go left. Ba -ba his cut should suit him well here with his hard sloping. He's watching this one anxiously on the right. No, that's understandable. Gauge your touch with this, then it's a wedge right now. No, not very good. And, uh, he's gonna really have his work cut out for him from there. He's not unpleased with any shot he hit on this hole, and he's got a 12 footer or so for par. Such a good putt. So the ROM run sputters a little bit at the fourth, but still one under on the day. A feeling of urgency for ROM, for all these guys today. Every So he will give one back. I think he hit the part he wanted to, though, Craig. Agree, agree, agree. Man. Razor thin. Well, you think about that approach shot, too, speaking of razor thin. Mm. Oh, it's gorgeous. It should take the slope in the fairway and another beautiful tee shot from the Spaniard. And the second for Rahm. Rahm! Got him left for the flag. Have it kick right. Not that far left. That's a huge miscue. Just trying to judge it out of here. Yeah, it's fast. He's got to get it just over that hill right there and it'll feed on down. Now slow down. And we test it again. Well, he was positioned perfectly off the tee. This would be a great save. That would have been a hurtful bogey there at five. Avoids the back-to-back -back bogey, stays at three under. Thank you. Okay, looks to be good. Oh, yeah. Perfect position. Today, as he was last fall. John Rahm positioned perfectly here at the long par four sixth. 
Second shot on the way. It's a big right. hop. It'll be fine. It's on the proper level. Three in a row here at this championship. John Rahm for birdie at six. Move right as it gets up around the hole. Oh. Mm. It was a good effort. And broke that much and was that. Speedy, as I said, four is an excellent score on the sixth. So a birdie for Matthew Wolf, a par for John Rom. Down that left side again. That wind's not allowing it to cut. Needs a bounce. Oh, got one. There it is. It's good that he keeps continuing to go. Oh, avoid the bunk, uh, avoid the sand divot. The par four is 458 yards today. Ron with his second shot. In the hole. And the three tiered green here, the flag in the middle, close to the bunker on the right. That way. Good swing, buddy. I mean, that was a good shot. Got picture perfect. Close there. The worst part of the day. And it's a cleanup. So he'll remain at three under par through seven holes. Just right at it. Shot into here, but just typical of the U.S. Open. He's got to be on defense. Very fast. He gave it a wrap. Ooh, that's going left fairly quickly. If, even if it's over in that area, that's it. It is not OB. Just find a way to get in the fairway, avoid those cross bunkers. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and a safe play. So after all of that, <laughs> John Rom lies two in the fairway of this par five ninth. When opportunities are presented, you've got to take advantage of them. Uh, getting better now. I'm not sure that was an intent. Is it going to find the cup? It's 99 yards go right at this a little bit long a little bit short either way you've got an uphill putt this is his strength drives it great oh, phenomenal wedge player you heard him i thought i absolutely yeah. nailed it <laughs> that rom that low one i thought it was going to skip nicely Let's see if he can uh, do something special here like a push it was just earlier. The par for Rom stays one back. Hard one to believe. You know, he doesn't like the, the greens reading golf. He's more of a field putter. He spoke out against it way back at the World Golf Championship. This is right at the right center of the green. Really solid looking shot. 
Five iron. I got killed. It just got to be left there. Sounded good. Boy, a lot of speed through that. That's how you draw them up. You made it look easy. It should be a save for Rom. Got a win one for Spain. It's a good start. Just drifting on the wind, actually. Going towards the bunker. Hmm. He was looking anxiously at it. John Rahm, fairway bunker, 206 yards to the hole. Boy, the strike sounded good. Paul barely moved the sand at all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very well done. It's not an easy two putt from there. We've seen Morikawa struggle. This is the one that we've seen uh, players race well by the hole. Well, that speed looks much better. Much better. Oh, good read, Gary. They're going to go right. He's trying. Great four. All right, the wind's been just buffeting in the face for a few holes now. You. Get it at the back, maybe smooth sailing as you turn to the par 5, 13th. Scuttled up there pretty quick. How is that fading? Tired of waiting. You ready to go? Mm. Uh, Jim Duncan, rules yeah, official, has been circling for the last five minutes. One of the more difficult layup shots, you'll see it's totally blind, and you get a big kick off this downhill slope. And you do not want... This is perfect. That's excellent. It's a little bit on the upslope, and he's got a chance to get that close from there. Hole is cut over in the right edge of the green. Not much room to work with here, but he can do it. It's a beautiful shot from there. Always oh, just a little right. Been driving it great all day, Dan. Starting left at that bunker, trying to cut it. It's his go-to shot, and he nails it. Yeah, what a good drive. That's one of the tighter fairways on the golf course, only about 24 or 5 yards wide, and he just split the middle. He can really manipulate his trage. Flight it high. Distance looks really good. And that's exactly what we're talking about. To right. Beautiful yeah. shot. Textbook stuff under U.S. Open pressure. Rom says 14 owes me one. Ocean is to the right there a little bit. I think he felt that was going to be pretty straight. 11. Great opportunity lost. Still right there. Yep. Yeah, he's gone way right, Paul. Exactly like you said, towards the people. I don't blame him. All right, all right, all right. Now, if he can get lucky and catch a dry, crispy lie over there, which it looks like he may have. Left edge of the green, trying to cut it off that line. It's so tough to do. Yes, really good shot from there. Yeah, easy. Yeah, it's going to stay on. Get in the hole! Boy, he gave it a hit. And then some nearly went down. It was just traveling the, oh, too fast. To keep his composure, there's been a lot of talk about his temper and through the years he's worked on it and he's trying to keep it all together here doing a great job when everybody most everybody is crumbling around him right at the center turning over a little bit really good looking shot oh that's a fabulous shot from john Rahm. 
He's irritating and maybe a little bit of bother back at 13. Supposed to come back at the end. But that's okay. 233-yard par three. Yep, that was a critical hole for him to get by, David, and he, he did it nicely. Solid par. This one heading right towards those fairway bunkers, Gary. Get lucky. Maybe short enough. Uh, get it all? Yes, he did. That was fine. Excellent shot. Just past hole high. Just a little bit of a downhill putt with some break to the right. Chased all the way down into the pond. So now he's got a you know a bit of a long shot for a birdie here, and he, maybe he's opened the door up for Ustazen behind. Another one is landed at the 72nd hole. This time for Long to take the lead in the U.S. Open. He had to give us a wide berth. Most everybody's missed this high. Three different Spaniards have won majors. Seve Ballesteros, Jose Maria Olathabal, and Sergio Garcia, the last to do it at the Masters. And is John Rahm in line to join him?